the president talked about the whistleblower just a short time ago. Uh, that's right, Brianna. President Trump suggested to reporters the White House is trying to discover the identity of the whistleblower whose complaint launched the Ukraine investigation. The president is on the attack, warning the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee could be arrested for treason and that the country could be drawn into a civil war if he's impeached. I'm told aides of the president have cautioned him just in the last few days he faces the real likelihood of impeachment. In a sign of growing frustration that he faces the real prospect of impeachment, President Trump is demanding to find out the identity of the administration official who blew the whistle on his phone call with the leader of Ukraine about Joe Biden. Well, we're trying to find out about a whistleblower. When you have a whistleblower that reports things that were incorrect, as you know, and you probably now have figured it out, uh, the statement I made to the president of Ukraine, a good man, a nice man, knew uh, was perfect. It was perfect. That drew a quick response from the whistleblower's attorney, who tweeted, the intel community whistleblower is entitled to anonymity. Law and policy support this, and the individual is not to be retaliated against. Doing so is a violation of federal law. Lobbing grenades from his social media bunker, the president tore into House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff for mocking Mr. Trump's call at a hearing last week. Tweeting, Adam Schiff illegally made up a fake and terrible statement. Arrest for treason? It's a disgrace. This whole thing is a disgrace. There's been tremendous corruption, and we're seeking it. It's called drain the swamp. There's been corruption on the other side. There's been corruption like you've never seen. White House aides have grown frustrated with Mr. Trump's clinging to a bogus conspiracy theory that it was Ukraine, not Russia, that meddled in the 2016 election. A false claim former counterterrorism advisor Tom Bossert says he's tried to ask the president to abandon. And at this point, I am deeply frustrated with what he and the legal team is doing and repeating that debunked theory to the president. It sticks in his mind when he hears it over and over again. And for clarity here, George, let me just again repeat that it has no validity. Over the weekend, the president warned his removal from office would cause a civil war like fracture. That prompted one House Republican to tweet, I have visited nations ravaged by civil war. I've never imagined such a quote to be repeated by a president. This is beyond repugnant. Mr. Trump's 2016 foe summed it up by calling the president a destructive force of nature. A corrupt human tornado. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says his chamber would have to consider removing the president if the House votes to impeach. Under the Senate rules, we're required to take it up if the House does uh, go down that path, and we'll follow the Senate rules. It's a Senate rule related to impeachment that would take 67 votes to change, so I would have no choice but to take it up. Even the president's top surrogates are struggling to spin the Ukraine investigation. President Trump replies, I would like you to do us a favor, though. Well, you just added another word. No, it's you said, in I'd the like transcript. you to do a favor, though. Yes, it's he, in the, it's in when the I read White the House transcript. One top White House official strangely insisted it's the president who's blowing the whistle. The president is the whistleblower here. The president of the United States is the whistleblower. And this individual is a saboteur trying to undermine a democratically elected government. Now, sources familiar with internal deliberations over the last few days involving Mr. Trump and top advisors about his call with Ukraine's leaders say aides to the president have warned him he faces the real likelihood of being impeached. Uh, but a source said aides are divided over the subject as some are reassuring the president that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is just placating Democrats and won't ultimately drive the process toward an impeachment vote. Now, as for the subject of impeachment, we should uh, put this up on screen. A new CNN poll shows the public is becoming more open to the idea with 47 percent saying they support impeaching and removing the president from office. Contrast that with 41 percent back in May and some late breaking uh, new information. Brianna, the Wall Street Journal reported earlier this afternoon and our colleague Jamie Gangel is confirming that Secretary of State